Disclaimer, do it at your own risk. I am not accountable if something goes wrong. Step 1 would be to switch off your car and remove any USB stick or auxiliary wire or navigation card that you may have inserted. So for me, I can see that uh, I have a USB attached as well as I know that I'm using a navigation memory card. So I need to remove these before starting with the process. So I'll remove my USB and then I need to also remove the memory card, the navigation card. Just check if you have anything attached. If not, we are good for the next step. Next is to push the engine start button once without pressing the clutch pedal for a manual car or the brake pedal for an automatic car. This will set your ignition to ACC and we have to wait until the system fully gets booted. Once on, we need to go to your AM FM station Put it in mute if you want or reduce the volume, whatever works for you. Now we need to press the music, favorite and the mute button together for five, 2 to 5 seconds. This will bring the uh, test screen on your display. Once you see the test screen, you need to press 3 followed by enter and then clear. I'll press enter and then clear button. Next you will input 2 and then press your enter so I press my enter button then clear followed by the exit button now you need to switch off your car lock all your doors and move away from your car at least 5 meters or more and wait for 6 minutes. You want the CMU to go in the sleep mode. Once this is done, you can again come back to your car, unlock it, press your start button once without pressing the clutch pedal for your manual car or the brake pedal for your automatic car. Wait for the system to come up. Now insert your USB which has the upgrade software in it and let your system identify this on the screen. As you can see it has identified the Mazda CMU connected USB for me. Now we again need to reach the test screen. So I'm just showing that uh, I have inserted the USB which has the upgrade software. Now again to go to the test screen, I am going to press the music, the mute and the favorite button together. Once the screen appears, you need to now press 99 and then click on enter. Click on the search button. It is searching for the upgrade software on the USB. Now this is a very important step where you can see both the packages, the reinstallation as well as the fail safe. You have to first do the fail safe before going to the reinstallation. If you swap them, you may end up breaking your system. Click on install and it will start installing the fail safe system update for your car. This takes around maybe 4 to 5 minutes. So in my case, I stayed in the car.
So once the installation is complete, you just click on OK. Again, a very important step. Do not restart your car at this point or do not switch it off. You need to keep this in mind and again press the music plus mute plus favorite button to go and install the second package. If you restart or if you switch your car at this point, you may end up breaking your system. Now I'm going to start with the step two that is reinstallation package. This process takes some time, approx 30 to 40 minutes. So first thing is that during this entire process, you should not restart or even think of touching the start button as this can damage your CMU. Second, your ACC goes to a sleep mode after 25 minutes. So it is very important that you press your brake pedal for your automatic car or the clutch pedal for your manual car before you begin this process keep a timer that lets you know that 20 minutes have passed and you are required to press the brake or the clutch again after 20 minutes you are mainly doing this to prevent your acc from going into sleep mode Once the software update is completed successfully, the same will be displayed on your screen. Now the next step would be to first switch off your car and remove the USB stick that you had used to install the software. Once you have done that, lock your doors and move away from your car for at least maybe 5 meters and wait for 6 minutes before you head back. This is very important to let your CMU go in the sleep mode. Once back in your car, start your car and let the system load for at least a minute. Then you can again go back to your settings and see if the latest version is being displayed. 